Good morning. Day after day 12, for those who are superstitious. <laughs> um, I am going to carry on where I left off yesterday and um, get round this final edge on this hug. Now I do have to say this hug is one of the smaller ones I have in my repertoire at the moment um, but it just seems um, ready to be complete so it's going to get done. Um, I'm just weaving in this long end so that I can then crochet across it to finish up. Now yesterday I showed you that ball of wool that came in three parts um, and it was what I chose to start the edge on and unfortunately it didn't get, the biggest part didn't get all the way around. I still have a run down the final side so here's praying that this bit here is going to take me down the other side or we're going to go for plan B, a whole new edge. So a nice long tie off because this stuff is super chunky and you need your long end it nice and tight and off we go yep um, I'm doing it like this because I want to show you how to do the corners um, so with this really long one I'm going to weave one side in in one direction and I'm going to come back and I'm going to weave the other side in in the other direction so it's not too chunky um, when it's finally done. Right, so I'm coming up to the corner. Now into the corner we do... Coffee's being made, so you'll hear those noises, and that'll be fantastic. Anyway, it's five crochets round the corner. Three, Coffee, coffee! Anyway, so I've tried all kinds of different numbers to go into the corner, but five seems to be just the right thing. But um, if your um, edge, final edge is super chunky, three might work, or if it's if it's quite thin compared to the rest of your wool seven might work odd numbers work well anyway i'm getting around this and i'm hoping i'm hoping that i will get to the end of this i do have a plan b but Let's see what happens. So yesterday I managed to get 50 subscriptions on my YouTube channel and um, I'm halfway, yay! I'm halfway to making my YouTube channel Joe Jandall Creates. So 
I just need to find another 50 keen people and they don't even have to be keen they just need to click that <laughs> give us a like and subscribe and ring the bell and YouTube will see that I'm done and I can give myself a proper name instead of a handful of numbers anyway um, so sometimes you spot a place where you didn't quite do all the things you said you were going to do like I said I was going to do three trebles into here and I managed to do two so don't panic nothing's broken and you often can't see it anyway if you can see it still don't panic just pull it back undone to that row do your, do your other treble if it matters that much and carry on yep cool yep nothing's broken um yeah I don't know, it's looking sketchy. It's really unfortunate. So I have um, a couple of options. I can wait and go and see if the Emporium's got more of this. When we finally open out of level 3. Or I can see if I can find the remnants of the other ball. Um, I have this much left, but it's not going to take me all the way to the end. So we're still not going to panic, but we are going to put it aside until I have a rethink about what I'm going to do. And I'll come back to you. Yeah, because I've got something else to show you today. So, you know how I said to you that I do my best crocheting watching foreign movies in my evening and just crocheting? Wow, check this out. I'm this far around. And I'm deciding now whether I do my final row. Oh, coffee. Cheers, that man. Thank you very much. Mmm. Gonna do my final row. Or oh, whether I'm going to maybe add sparkles. And then do my final row. I think I've decided that my final row is going to be in this. So that on the purple will look great. So I'm thinking that I'll use this. So oh dear. So if you're wondering when you pick your work up, which direction you're going in, you're always going clockwise. Sorry, I lied. You're always going anti-clockwise. So, um, there have been occasions where I've picked up my work and um, gone in the other direction. And, yeah, uh, it's okay and it works it gets a bit odd when you're trying to finish the row and realize you've gone in the wrong direction um, but on the whole yeah try and head off in the same direction every time um, there's another kind of crocheting where you can just um, work it out so you just go round and round and round and round and round um, and that works really great until you have to work out how to finish at the end 
so it looks like it's um, all part of the same row and um, that can be uh, not as easy as it sounds um, which is mostly the reason why I um, step my work up row by row but anyway um, have a good day and I might even have another ball of that, um, that variegated wool. So how to do fluffy stuff while I'm here. I'm doing fluffy stuff and I'm not um, looking too hard at where, um, where my needle is or how the stitches look. Um, I'm feeling it with my hands. Yeah. Anyway, that's going to be a nice addition into this hug. And yeah, um, think about that other one a bit harder. Nothing's lost. It's just put on hold until I can rifle through my stores and work out what I'm going to do next. I do kind of have a plan already. I could use this. But I like the blue. And so I'm going to see if I can sort that out. <sighs> Monday. It is Monday. And yeah. Oh, Russian movies. It's called to the lake um, it's got a really good Russian actor in it and I don't know his name because he says it in Russian oh that sounds a bit racist but anyway um, and the whole thing is in Russian with English subtitles um, it's on Netflix and um, for some reason the last three things that I've watched coming out of um, Eastern Europe and well Middle Europe um, have been all about, would you believe, pandemics. <laughs> all about pandemics. And um, yeah, I'm really shocked at how they think that some countries, well, maybe some countries d do pandemics by scaring the hell out of their population. Um, and it makes me smile to think that we have um, we have a really gentle approach to it, and for the people who think that the New Zealand population have have been having the hell scared out of them, you should try watching to the lake. It is like it's like nothing we've ever known in New Zealand, and anyway, so we are lucky. We are lucky, and that's all I have to say on that topic <laughs> have a good day i'm gonna enjoy my coffee and yeah. bye for now babes love you